Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, I went shopping again. All of my videos are recorded and uploaded in 1080p HD quality. That doesn't mean that they will automatically play at this high resolution. Make sure to check your browser or app settings and set the quality to 1080p. No one likes watching a fuzzy video. And for the love of puzzles, I want to make sure that you get the most enjoyment out of watching my builds. Now let's get back to the video. The first lot of puzzles I purchased at a charity sale. I wanted to get puzzles that were perhaps vintage or different or difficult to purchase. This first one is a wooden piece puzzle. I've never done a wooden piece jigsaw puzzle before, so I wanted to to get a little introduction to that. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the brands in this video and all the details of the puzzles. I just wanna show you what I picked up, but all these puzzles will be built in future videos. So I picked up my first wooden piece jigsaw puzzle. The next one that I picked up was a circle puzzle. I've never done a circle puzzle before, so this will be my first circle puzzle. I'm curious to see if the pieces are regular shaped or irregular shaped. I'm not familiar with circle puzzles, so we'll have to build it and find out. Then I got lucky and came across not one, but two of these like murder mystery puzzles. So if I understand it correctly, you build the puzzle, but there's no full image of the puzzle in the box. There's a story that goes along with it and you either figure out who murdered someone or who committed a crime or whatnot. I'm hoping to have a friend join me to do these puzzles together. So I have a Cluedo version and I have a Murder She Wrote version. I'm really excited to do these. Never ever done one before. And then finally, the last puzzle that I picked up at this charity sale is perhaps nothing too special, but it was like $3. And the reason why I got it is because it's so busy. Like, I don't even know if I'll be able to sort pieces or if I'll just have to just plug along with it. It's from a series called Busy. So, you know, it's in the title. <laughs> but I just thought it was a bit chaotic, not the typical puzzle that I would do. I hope to do it, but um, I think it'll actually be quite a challenge. So there you go. So those were the few puzzles that I picked up from the charity sale. I think I spent about $27 on them in total. The next puzzles I picked up, well, this is a terrible excuse, but I had to buy something online for the dogs and they offered free shipping if you spent a certain amount of money. And I hadn't reached that limit, so I thought, well, I'll just add in a few puzzles. Now, I will confess that shipping was only $5, so I ended up spending more in puzzles than I did if I would have just spent the money on shipping. But what was interesting about these puzzles, if you see these two right here, there's a series of three puzzles in each. You couldn't choose which one to add to your cart and buy. They randomly selected one for you and sent it. So I was hoping from this carnival series, I was really hoping to get this one called Wonderland Gang. I ended up getting the Venice Awaits, which is fine. I think it'll be fun and beautiful to do. And then from this series here called the Magical Series, I was really hoping to get the Virgo Dragon because I love blues and purples. I ended up getting the Capricorn Dragon. Again, not exactly the ones that I wanted, but I'm sure I'll enjoy them. Now, what I thought was interesting, they have this picture of the pieces right on the box. This one is 500 piece and this one is 1,000. But if you look, I think the 500 piece um, they're kind of bigger, maybe even considered like extra large size pieces or definitely bigger than regular size pieces. I did get a third puzzle. It's called an Impossibles puzzle. I'd never done one before. I'd heard of them. So before I show you the box, one thing to note, there's not a border, so a regular border. There's five extra pieces in the puzzle, in the box, that don't fit anywhere. Why would you do that to someone? I don't even know. And the pictures are pretty chaotic. Now there was one with doggies. 
There was one with donuts and one with butterflies. I was really hoping they'd send me the one with the donuts because at least the donuts, there was like maybe three different toppings on the donuts and then the picture repeated itself. And I thought, well, I'll be able to sort out like the chocolate covered donuts and the strawberry covered donuts. And that would be maybe a bit easier. And the doggy ones, well, I love dogs. And I thought that would maybe be the second easiest one and the hardest for sure would have been the butterflies. Well, lucky me because they sent me the butterfly one. Oh goodness, look at this. This is gonna be crazy. First of all, there's not a full picture on the box. Um, it's a thousand pieces. I don't even know why I did that to myself. My question to you, has anyone done these impossibles puzzles? Are they fun? Are they just, just, do they just drive you mental and do you just wanna flip the table? But yeah, those were the three puzzles that were basically randomly selected for me and sent. And um, yeah, who oh, am I up to the challenge? I have no idea. The next and final lot of puzzles I'm going to show you, um, well, this wasn't fair. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I added a bunch of puzzles to an online retailer's wish list for myself just to keep track of which puzzles I would eventually like to purchase and build for videos on this channel. I was sitting down one day working on another puzzle when suddenly I heard notifications and I received like 10 emails in a span of 30 seconds. I thought, oh goodness, what's happening? What's gone wrong? I didn't realize that they also emailed you when the items in your wish list have gone on sale. Well, it's kind of hard to resist buying a puzzle when it's 30% off and you plan on buying it anyway in the future. So I limited myself and I did just get four. So first of all, I'll show you these two together um, because they're more like novelty gift puzzles. This one is basically, I believe, in the shape of a banana and little bananas. It's almost like the impossible puzzle. So, but perhaps this will be a nice, smaller intro to the impossibles puzzle and this one is a glow-in-the-dark puzzle and I thought wouldn't it be great if I could actually like turn the pieces over expose them to light for a while and maybe film myself in the dark putting the puzzle together just with the glow-in-the-dark pieces I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up or not so it may not happen but definitely just two fun little silly puzzles I think they're more like like gift puzzles as opposed to like standard puzzles because the brand on them just for this one is called gift republic so I don't think they're made by puzzle companies per se they're more just kind of like novelty gifts but I thought they would be fun and challenging this one in preparation for that bigger impossible butterfly now who doesn't love a color gradient puzzle I've learned I love them so I decided to get this one but I'm gonna call this a color block puzzle because the colors don't blend into one another it's not a gradient but it's definitely color blocking it's by color bloom and they do make color gradient puzzles so this is my first color bloom puzzle that I'm going to do and Oh, I'm excited. It's smaller. It's only 500 pieces. I thought it would be a good intro to a color block puzzle. So I had to pick that up. I mean, I had to. And then finally, yes, I did it. I'm a little crazy. Not only did I get a solid color puzzle, never done one before, I got the Crypt puzzle. We'll discuss it more in the build. Are you familiar with crypt puzzles? Never done one of those before. It's part spiral, part standard piece. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I guess in the series, there's like a black one, a pink one. I think there's a blue one or a silver one. I picked up the gold one. Please, any comments below, do you have advice for me on how to approach and attack this puzzle? This will either do my head in or I'll love it. I have no idea. So there you go. Those were the puzzles that I got because, well, there was a really good sale. <laughs> so these are all my recent purchases. 
thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!